up YouTube and today I'm back with another hype pixel skyblock minecraft video and today hopefully we're gonna get some good stuff and we're also going to get to um, the jungle axe so we can start chopping down trees really fast and then we're also gonna try to get the silver fang which will allow us to kill monsters and we can get our combat XP level up so honestly uh, since I'm beginner level, um, let's see, so my sk this is only our second video, but, oh my gosh, why does that glitch so much times? Still glitch, whatever. I think I'm mining level, like, 6, uh, foraging level 5, and then, uh, farming level, like, 8 or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pretty low level. But I was thinking we should get our forging level up because that's how you get money compared to the mines. You don't want to go straight. Oh, that's not the mines. Well, anyways, the mines are over here. You don't want to go straight down to the mines right away because one, you'll die a lot because you don't have good armor. Two, you don't want you won't have a good sword because this undead sword's garbage. Um. So, pretty much, we're gonna um. You have to start farming the first thing you do to get your money. So then you can buy the jungle axe. With the jungle axe, you'll get even more money over here. And then you can lastly go to the mines and get some minor armor. Uh, by killing things with a silver fang that you'll buy from the store. But you have to um, mine wood because it's very, uh, it's very cost. It sells for a lot. So, so... I've been grinding a little bit. I got a bunch of hay bales. I got a bunch of money in my purse. And now we're just going to go sell this all. We do not have Bazaar unlocked. So we're just going to go boom. Look at that. 7,498. That's probably what you can get a jungle axe with max enchants. I mean, at least efficiency 5. Maybe even 6, but... I don't know why this isn't working. Is anything working? It, it might be a glitch. I think it's a glitch. Here, let me back out and then go back in. Yeah. It's a glitch. Here. So you guys... I'm back. Okay, we're back. I fixed the glitch. So, here are all my skills. We got farming eight. Mining 5, Combat 1, Foraging Level 5, Fishing, Enchanting, and Alchemy. Not leveled up. But we got all that, but now we're just going to withdraw all my money. Which, now I have 13k. Which is a pretty decent amount of money. So, with that money, come over here to this dude. And then we're going to search up Jungle Axe. Jungle Axe under the search, and then we're going to click on weapons, and it should pop up. So let's see. If I... I can't see the enchant really, but here. If I go down the lowest bit, ending soon. Efficiency 4, efficiency 5. So look, that's about 5,000. But if I'm going to go down to buy it, well, well, I guess I have to bid on it. So I guess it could be... Okay. So we bid on that axe. So basically, in this clip here, uh, let's see. So I was bidding on the axe, and it was like, what, five thousand? It, it got up like way too high. It got past six thousand dollars. So I just decided not to mess around with it anymore. And so pretty much, some guy in the chat was like, giving out free stuff. Go to the map. I was like, okay. And I went over this the map, and yeah, something happened. <laughs> it 
Eh, it was a little crazy. Wait, this kid's gonna give me free stuff. Oh my gosh. What? That's messed up. What the heck? Oh, uh, that's called contraband. Um. Okay. What the heck? Okay, I'm running away from this kid. Dude, this kid just gave me full pr I'm sad. And I'm scared. This is called contraband. Nobody gives somebody an enchanted lava bucket. Nobody gives them full protector. I mean, protector's not that good, but hey, for my level, it's good. <laughs> I have no idea why he did that. This kid's here. Oh! This kid's got tranche. Tarantula. Five, nine, seven, four, point five. Five nines. Thanks. There we go. Uh, let's go. We got ourselves a jungle axe. Now this is the next grindy thing that you have to do. You're gonna put telekinesis on it if you don't already have that. But you're gonna go to the caverns, like the gold mines, to get, and then you're gonna go over here. Here, if I come over here, you guys, you guys know it's a wooden axe, right? But no, it's a lot better than a wooden axe. Watch this. Boom! Look at that chunk of wood just mined. So the ability is powerful wooden axe, which you can break multiple logs in a single hit. Cool down two seconds. So technically, I can just run around, go like that. That guy has the same thing. Soon I can insta mine, but I just got to get some good money first. I meant to thank that guy who gave me all that good stuff. Forgot to thank him. Uh, I don't know. See, that was a little sketch. He just gave away, like, free protector. But look at that. Look at all that wood. It's a good amount. I think what I'm actually going to try to do, I think I'm going to unlock the bazaar first. Because you can sell wood for more there. So if I go... Farming level, we gotta get our forging level up some. Why I'm mining oak, you don't have to mine oak, but I'm mining it because it's one, I mean, it's okay wood to mine, but if I go to my collection, and if I go to oak wood, it's really important uh, for st minion storages, which can help large and what they can carry overnight and stuff like their storage like a chest it's like an extra storage slot for them yeah I'm trying to get that up that's why I'm mining oak but once you get your combat level up you can start insta mining stuff and that makes you a sweaty kid yo that was sick Okay, over here. But yeah, like I said, that armor, I'm not gonna be using that armor because that is complete contraband. Because I got it for free. A lot of YouTubers get stuff for free, but nobody knows I'm a YouTuber because I'm not a YouTuber rank. I need 100,000 subscribers. Which is like stupid. Most sites they they only say about a thousand, but hundred thousand. <clears throat> so 
Spruce minions. Yeah, this stuff sells for the most. What's... Here, I need to keep looking at my collection, because... <clears throat> so I gotta get to this enchanted oak. And then I got to get to enchanted spruce. Spruce 5. Enchanted spruce. Let's go. Pop that in my inventory. See this? It's 160 spruce logs for each piece. So we can get it like that. Boom. You know, so for good. I think we're going to head back to the lobby now. Gotta do this twice to get to the look. So what do we need now? We gotta get everything up to seven. So that mining, it's just mining right now, which we can guess we can get some money from, but it's not gonna be efficient. So yeah, we should keep that in my e-chest. Oh yeah, and then, so money that you put in the auction house and you don't get something from, you can actually take it back out. Place the bid on this, it ended, and I can click on it and click my auction. So now I got 10k. With 10k, you can get a silver fang, which, let's see. Silver fang. Ten K, boom. Buy it now. Oh thanks. Endings. Okay. Yep, way too much money for us that. But see this does a hundred damage compared to our swords, which does thirty. So this is by far better than any of the other things. So I'm just going to place a bid on that. We'll go mining for like seven minutes and then I'll come back. Um, basically after bidding, I got the silver fang. And while I ran here, I put the telekinesis enchant on it. So we're going to head off into the mines. Which we're here. You want to go to the deep caverns. And basically... Yeah, this does so much more damage than our other sword. The other sword did 30. This does 100. Now this has telekinesis. Okay. So we're going to go to the... You need to go to the lapis quarry first. Because we need armor, right? We need armor. So. These guys do drop armor. You just have to kill enough of them. Like 100 for one piece. So it takes a bit of grind, but you'll be able to get it. So, see you once I get it. Um, so basically, what I did is I got full lapis armor by killing the zombies. And then, um, if you go even further down the mines, past the slime hill, you can go down to the bottom, which are, there's very dangerous mobs, and you can get minor armor. Here, where is that? I have one piece of minor armor, but I don't think it's the best armor. I think you should just stick to lapis armor. Lapis armor is pretty good, and I don't think it's worth the grind to get the minor armor. So then the next part of the quest that we need to do is you need to unlock the bazaar once you get your mining level and combat level up. So combat, I got to get my mining level up one more time. Forging's up. But once you do that, you can unlock the bazaar. And, after, and, and then what you're going to do after you get the bazaar is you're going to forage a bunch. That's how you're going to make your money. Like I said, foraging is very important, but you have to unlock the bazaar first. So I will see you once I get... I'm thinking once I get the, the bazaar. And then, yeah, thing along the way that I found out was the that I 
also picked up a lapis crystal that you can apply to a pickaxe to get a magnetic reforge on it. So I think I'm going to do that on my promising pickaxe because really the only thing better than a promising pickaxe is a stonk, which is two point something million, so... Oh, is this it? Uh, I have to mine some coal. I need to get 10 coal to do this. Okay, talk to the blacksmith. So, reforges pretty much buff your weapon or tool. So, okay, so if I put that on there, uh, reforge and boo. Oh, there we go. What? With or with the dungeon blacksmith? Oh, for the dungeon blacksmith. I guess I can get there. Uh, so Minecraft Dungeons, uh, in Hypixel. It's different too. It's like a thing for like if you're really boss at the game. It's like another thing that you can do. But there's an anvil guy I have to go over to over there. So I'm gonna run over there. It's gonna be like a whole new map and stuff almost. So that you don't really have to pay attention to this part of the video. Okay, dungeon hub. I just come up here. Here we go. Magnetic bonus. Boom. That, there we go. Magnetic promising pickaxe. So now we can go back to Scabble Cub. Combine that. And now what I think we're going to do is we're going to sell all this lapis lazuli I've collected. And then I'm also going to get my mining up and I'll see you once I get my mining up at the bazaar okay what's up guys I'm back I went to the obsidian sanctuary and I mined up a bunch of materials so if I take these in the diamonds look I got almost two full stack we got over two stacks of diamonds now that that's done I actually have unlocked the bazaar which is really good for my second video but see this, all this stuff I've unlocked? It's really nice. I can buy and sell. And I can even sell for so much more in this. So look, I can get $2,000 out of all this lapis. Which I actually think I will sell it. Uh, I'm going to sell that. Look at all this money I'm making. 3K. Oh, I can't sell stone. Bones. Slime balls. I'm keeping my diamonds. But anybody who's wondering why I wanted the bazaar unlocked, because wood mining is probably one of the best ways to make money in early game after you unlock the bazaar. So I'm going to sell all this. But look how much money this is. This is almost a full inventory. And look at that. $8,000. Boom. 14 k That easily. Did you remember how much time we were mining that wood for? Not even a long time. And now we have this much money. So now we have 17k. 
And I think that's going to end off our video. Stay tuned for more technical gaming.